Hi friends, this is Aditya Moite and you are watching AgriBiotech. Friends, we are back with the new video on tillage. In this video, you will see the concept of tillage, its types, advantages and disadvantages of tillage. So watch the complete video and share it as much as possible. Subscribe this channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So in this video, first let's see what is tillage. The word tillage is derived from the Anglo-Saxon word tillion and teolion means to plow and prepare soil for seed to sow, to cultivate and to raise crops. It is the mechanical manipulation of soil for obtaining condition ideal for seed germination, seedling establishment and growth of crops. Jethro Tull is known as father of tillage. Tilth is relative term of tillage. The good physical condition for soil after tillage in relation to plant growth is called tilth. Now have a look on types of tillage. So first type is primary tillage. It is the tillage operation which constitutes the initial measures of soil working operation. It is normally designed to reduce soil strength, cover the plant material and rearrange the aggregate and mainly for seedbed preparation. The main aim of primary plow is breaking, opening and turning of soil. The primary tillage implements are desi plow, mb plow, risk plow, disc plow, etc. Now let's see second type of tillage that is secondary tillage. This tillage operations following primary tillage to create a good seedbed for proper seedling and planting. The secondary tillage implements are cultivator, harrow, planker, roller, etc. Now in this row come to the next topic that is objectives of tillage. First, it provides adequate soil aeration for gases exchange in the seed and root zone. It provides adequate seed and soil contact to permit the water flows to seed and seedling roots. It also enables a non-crushed soil contact to permit the seedling emergence. Tillage makes the soil low dense that permits the root elongation and proliferation. It creates an adequate environment that provides the adequate light to the seedling. It also makes the pest and pathogen free environment. It helps in mixing the applied manures and fertilizers with the soil. And in last, it helps to remove the hard pan, if any, to remove the soil depth for water absorption. The main aim of tillage is to produce a good soil condition or tilth for crop establishment and initial shoot and root development. Now let's see some modern concepts of tillage. These are conventional tillage, minimum tillage, zero tillage and conservational tillage. So first let's see conventional concept of tillage. Conventional tillage involves primary tillage to break open and turn the soil followed by the secondary tillage to obtain the seed bed or sowing or planting. Due to various reasons, concept of tillage has undergoes the radical changes. The depth of tillage has been reduced and cultivator replaced the plow as primary tillage implements particularly on heavy soil. There has been an increasing trend to reduce the number of cultivations in order to avoid undesirable result of over cultivations. Reduction or elimination of tillage has been accompanied by direct drilling of seeds. The main disadvantage are that direct drilling favors the proliferation of perennial weed and certain pests and diseases. Now let's proceed towards the minimum tillage. Minimum tillage refers to growing a crop using only that tillage needed for placing the seed at proper depth and then covering them. Advantage of minimum tillage is it improves the soil condition due to decomposition of plant residues in situ. It improves the soil physical condition due to incorporation of organic residues leading to the higher water infiltration into the subsoil. 
higher infiltration is caused by the vegetation present on the soil and channels formed by the decomposition of dead roots less resistance to root growth due to improved soil structure lesser surface runoff of rainwater satisfactory crop stand establishment less soil compaction by the reduced movement of heavy tillage vehicles and less erosion compared to conventional tillage minimum tillage has some disadvantages that is first seed germination is lower with minimum tillage in minimum tillage more nitrogen has to be added as the rate of decomposition of organic matter is slow nodulation is affected in some leguminous crop that is field pea and beans sowing operations are difficult with the ordinary implements last continuous use of herbicides cause the pollution problem and dominance of perennial problematic weeds now have a look on zero tillage zero tillage referred as no tillage in which the crop is planted in unprepared soil by opening a narrow slot trench or band only of sufficient width and depth to obtain a proper seed coverage the weeds are controlled only by chemical means the word zero tillage is given by jethro tull advantage of zero tillage is in zero till farming the soil is more resistant to erosion caused by wind and water ground that is not tilled is less compacted than soil that is tilled tillage busts up the natural soil structure zero till farming saves the time and labor cost and can also helps you get your crops planted before the soil dries too much fear passes across the field in zero till farming will dramatically reduce the fuel cost zero till seeding leaves plant residues on the ground which can helps to keep the soil moist and protect against evaporation caused by the sun and wind many life forms increase in and on the soil this creates an healthier field ecology but zero tillage has some disadvantages that is the initial investment of zero till equipment and pairs is too high as a long term result of zero till seeding gullies can forms potentially increase the chemical use and in the last let's see conservation tillage in a conservation tillage organic residues are not inverted into the soil such that they remain on the soil surface as a protective cover against the erosion and evaporational losses of soil moisture conservation tillage is also known as stubble mulch tillage because stubbles forms the protective covering of soil it is also called as eco fallow and reduced tillage objectives of conservation tillage is to conserve the soil from erosion along with the water now have a look on advantages of conservation tillage it reduces the erosion and transport of absorbed particulate phosphorus it reduces runoff and transport of soluble phosphate helps to conserve the soil moisture for crop use and increase yield it also reduces the particulate emission to the atmosphere it improves the soil and water quality by adding the organic matter as crop residues decompose some disadvantages of conservation tillage is first it dries the soil before seeding the soil loses a lot of its nutrients like carbon nitrogen and its ability to store water it is responsible for more erosion of soil it decreases the water infiltration rate of soil reduces organic matter in the soil like microbes carbon compounds earthworm and etc it destroys the soil aggregates it can attract some harmful insects to the field that's it in this video from us 
I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts and suggestions, you can write us in comment box. We are always here to help you. Subscribe this channel and please share this video with your all friends. And also follow us on Instagram and Facebook.